action. Uh, hello? Yeah, why not? You can do this. Welcome to Tabletop Battle and awesome t-shirt day. This is Sven and Damon is hiding behind... No, wait, there he is. Oh, yeah. Uh, we're gonna do a Walking Dead video. We're gonna do a six-part series. I was gonna say six trilogy, but I don't think that's a thing. Six trilogy? No. Uh, six-part uh, game, long campaign. The first one that you will see now is a, as Damon would put it, get in, get, get stash, out. get out. Get in uh, and get out. We will explain it when we go down on the table. <laughs> but for now, witness Swain and Damon in a ever first, first ever co-op. Co-op. We're not going to play against each other, we're going to play together. Um, and we're just going to start with two. Hey. Uh, but as the campaign goes on, the six games, we will we'll find more survivors. So if uh, you guys who wa are watching this have read the books or have watched the uh, TV show mm -hmm. uh, and know about the different survivors and characters, let us know which one you want us to find next. And if that character actually is in this game, we'll introduce that character. We will add that character. So whoever gets the most mentions of those characters, yeah. we have to put a, something on it. Yeah. So. Let's look at the table. Let's go down on the table. Here we have Sandra to the left and Patrick to the right. This is our entry point. Damon has chosen to be the redhead. Uh, I like redheads. <laughs> tell that to your wife. She's been a redhead. Really? Yes. Um, anyway, you can see here the scene of a little crash. There's a road. Here you see four zombies surrounding a suitcase. This is uh, actually a dead body. This is our buddy that we're trying to find. Unfortunately, someone else found him before we did. Yes, dead buddy, dead body. Uh, <laughs> he has he, some stuff that we need. He yeah. has a map that leads to a very important uh, cache of uh, supplies. Yeah. yeah, so our mission is to get from this point, get the treasure map, and then get, get off. Out on this side. So as you can see we have to go through quite a lot of zombies and I guess we will not be able to complete this but we will try our best. Uh, there are also some crates one, two and three where we can pick up random supplies so that we can have a better chance of well survival. Yeah. If we choose to go there that is. Let's see what happens. Oh yeah let's game on co-op for the first time. All right, so we have begun round number one, and we have done a quick switch. And Sandra is here now. Something new as well. And this is Patrick, and the reason is because this is a runner, and she doesn't have to take climb tests to I get can. over. So our plan, which we have discussed, hope it works. I'm going to sneak over the fence, because I don't have to test for that. I'm gonna end up right here. Yes. And there's really nothing else much you can do. Nope, not at this moment. So I will then proceed to do a run. And I can run eight inches and that will make some sound. And I will have enough movement to get over here. And that means... 10 inches. Let's hope these guys are... That's yeah. like... All of them six. are within 10. That's like a little bit more so that's the closest one this one will move in a straight line towards me he has a movement of six but he will stop Up. as soon as it touches uh, some terrain or obstacle uh, next turn however he will move six inches around F fastest way around that's pro yeah that's gonna be roughly the same anyway yeah, I think goes. it will be this way because he has to go around that car uh, now we check for kill zones yes like there is, you're in a kill. Now you're actually out, even if he would be able to get you. But nothing. Nothing. All right. So no kill zones. Uh, so we move on to events. Yes. You want to do it, or should I do it? I can do it. It's a top card anyway. And the hunger. Plus one to threat. Okay. Threat level goes up from one to two. And we are uh, all but quiet. All quiet on the western front. The What's walkers up? suddenly stop. Nothing else happens. That's so. Nothing goes on here. Cool. Uh, we drew that event card. Uh, now we're supposed to be moving walkers, but there's nowhere for them to go uh, because there's no threats nearby. Uh, 
Okay. So, yeah. Then we'll move on to the next round. Uh, Walker's entering play. None of that. Melee phase, none of that. Blah, blah, blah. Then we move the end on phase. to the end phase. No one has been bitten. No one is prone. No. Nope. So we're good to go. We then move on to turn two. Oh, so we might as well just do that. Uh, I'm going to move my gal. I'm going to move my gal. She's going to sneak again. Yes. Make sure you're outside of the... Uh, Kill zone, and in this game, it's no, you want to be in the kill zone. You want to be yeah. already. You Actually, don't no. want to have some help. I want to. Yeah, I'm gonna move up here. In this game, you're allowed to measure at any time. So that's me. That's you. And then I'm gonna. I can sneak. I can't run because then I will draw someone. Or should we just run, and he will come towards us? He will stop in the car. Yeah, but might might be him. No, no. Too. Yeah, but if you do that, then he's he's. Yeah, and then it will move around. Yeah, exactly. So I would sneak. That that was the agreement. I will sneak. If you change the rules in the middle of a f series or a film, you will get people killed. <laughs> I'm good at getting people killed. There so he go. sneaks over here. Oh, and maybe we should uh, make a little shout out for uh, Thomas Wood Greenwood, who has painted these beautiful yeah. Walking Dead. We'll, we'll models. take you down to uh, ground uh, level. Ground level soon, so we can uh, take a look. No, no. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. Uh, so event. Move on to event. All quiet. The walkers suddenly stop. Nothing else. Again? It's not added threat. Okay, cool. So it stays the same. So we check everything. Nothing is going on. Move on to turn three. Yeah. Now comes the interesting part. Yeah. Should we take a pause and plan? Uh, and I'm maybe not, go down to ground I'm level? I'm going to kill that one. Yeah, we are, we are. But let's plan it. Aww. And get down to ground level. Okay. Now we're gonna kill some zombies. Alright! So I'm not gonna measure that because I know I have the range. Hopefully this will get me into... I can, well, actually I'm allowed to check it, aren't I? Yeah, you can. So that takes me in. Yep. And that's the closest. Actually, I need to move here. Oh, don't be too close to that guy over there because he's hungry. So I need you close by too. So yeah. There we go. But you're not touching the other one. Nope. And you are gonna follow. I will follow suit. So you're gonna go sneak and stand right next to me so that when it comes, it touches us both. Mm -hmm. There we go. Uh, so that was the action phase. Mm -hmm. uh, and move. now we move on to kill zones. Check kill zones, and yes, we will draw him in. Yep. So he's oh, gonna... we forgot the event card. Oh, first. Event card. No. Yes. Is this turn? No, this is turn three. Yeah. Oh yeah, event card. Event card. I'm just, I'm just playing. You just want to kill zombies. Roamers. Oh. All quiet and low threat. Move one eligible walker towards the nearest survivor. Crap. <laughs> <laughs> that works. Yeah. Because he was coming that way anyway. That's true. So he's gonna come towards us. Yeah, we will uh, allow him to attack both of us so that we can. Uh, Kill him together. Uh, now we check the. Yeah, it's just us. Yep, yeah, he's not touching that guy. Okay. No uh, advancement on the threat level on that card. Nope. Nope. But we are now. In combat, so it advances by one on but the threat. Three. Then we move on to melee. Uh, so the zombie will attack with one dice, and I will attack with one dice, or, and Sven will roll one dice, and then we add the total up. We see who wins. And we will win, of course. Let's do it here. So, zombie. Mm -hmm. One. Yay! Oh. And a headshot. Headshot. So he's actually not only pushed away, it is deaded. He's deaded. So, yes. splats. He's splatted. So that, that went well. Do we, uh, get, do we get anything for that? Nope. No, Sorry. it was a headshot. It was a headshot. But everything else is fine. We have advanced the threat level and uh, we don't have to check on the end phase because we cannot win the game yet. And the zombie was not uh, put prone. No. Nope. It was destroyed. So that means we can move on to another round. That'll be turn four. four? Wait, it doesn't we matter. lose track of this so yeah. fast. It doesn't matter. Okay, so presumably round four. Yeah, and uh, we have a devious plan. Sandra and Patrick have been whispering, and this guy has his back turned, so he's not going to smell us, uh, see us at all. So we're going to sneak up here, and I don't know if you can see him on camera, but there's a dude here, the guy we lured in. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, we lured him in. 
So I was going to go in. You were going to follow. Mm -hmm. Our brains. We're both in combat. There we go. So that was the action phase. Now we move on to the event. Mm -hmm. Draw a card. And that is Romers. Romers. Move one eligible walker. Uh oh. At all quiet. Yep. Move one eligible walker towards the nearest survivor. No! So be one of these guys. Crap, that's me! And it moves six inches, it's gonna go into me! Crap! Arr, brains. Okay, but this is cool, this is cool, because now we get into something that is called split combat when Damon is zooming. So this is quite easy. I will be in combat with this one. Yep. And you will be in combat with that one. I'm so now we cannot that. benefit from the uh, well rolling both our dice at the same yep. time. I'm thinking I'm going to... Uh, well, are we finished with the event phase? That, uh, yeah, that, that was all. Nothing else happened. Kill zones. Kill zone. That's... Yeah, that's yeah, us. That guy can't... Nope. So that's fine. That means we move into the melee phase. And first of all, we move this one. So now we're on low threat. I'm going to attempt to nimble out. It's a standard special rule. Mm -hmm. so you can jump out of combat. Okay. Now so I'm going to try that. Roll a black dice and on a shield or a star thingy. Yeah. I get to jump one inch back and the zombie doesn't get to do anything. Sheriff badge. Done. You make it. I need your support to take care of this stuff. Okay. You, however, get to punch face. I will. I get to roll a dice for the zombie. I will have my white melee attack die for Patrick. This is his card. And Damon will roll the zombie cards. Okay. Oh, no, what the? That was crooked. No, it wasn't. <laughs> and you oh. rolled the same result again. Oh. Dude, what the hell? All right. One. Headshot. Okay, so he beats me by one. That means I take one wound. And since it's a headshot, I have a chance of being bitten as well. Or I, I was bitten. I was bitten. So this was not very This nice. wasn't planned. This wasn't planned, but this is ha what happens when you play with zombies. <laughs> so we'll be back after I have found some damage markers and put them on my uh, dude. So that kind of sucks. Yeah, that sucks. Uh, and I now have, if you can see... No, I don't think they can see your card, dude. No, because... Yeah. There we go. Here, I have the bitten mark, I lost one hit points, and for each uh, end phase I have to check with the black die and see if I lose another hit point. He needs to roll that or lose another hit point. Point of health. Yeah. Um, in this case, I lost combat, so I would normally be pushed back one inch, but I can't be pushed back since you are in my way. Sorry. So this guy is instead pushed one inch back. Oh. And then we go on to the next phase, or round. Which is round some five ish. Yeah, five ish. So, but now we are in trouble, I think. We start with the movement. Yep. I'm gonna go all in here and attack this one. Yes. Suggestion that I yell at uh, Patrick, or not, I, I say very low. Low. Yeah, low. Attack this one. Yes, but I'm afraid I will be in the kill zone of that one regardless. You will, but if we get something on the event that extracts the closest, that will be it. Instead of moving to that one, which I'm gonna try that one. Mm -hmm. so, but what if I go on to that side? I think we'll, we'll be in the kill box anyway, dude. You think? Actually, we're well, allowed to check. Yeah, we are. No, we'll be outside. All right, try it. You have to make a climb check, though. Yeah. Let's do a climb check. Okay. So I will sneak over here and do a climb check on the badge. I will be able to pass on top of the crate and uh, yeah, something like that. And I make it. Cool. So that's good. Because that is important. This woman actually will not now engage any of us. Any of us. Not in the kill zone. Sweet. That's, that's just. That's just out. On the millimeter. That actually might be a lifesaver. <laughs> that it might be. Okay, but that means we have done our movements. Yep. We will do event. All quiet, plus one threat. This is low threat. Yep. So plus one threat. Yep. We're then up to five. If we get to 18, we, yeah. lose. we lose. Okay. Oh, wait. We were at low. No, we're at. Yeah, we're at low. Ah, okay. Uh, 
Oh god. Uh, immediately add plus one. I, I, so no, that was plus. Okay, yeah. so we're at six. Yeah, and we have to draw two more event cards. No! All quiet and low threat. Yes. All eligible walkers within eight. Within eight? Uh, choose a walker and move it towards the nearest survivor. That'll be this one. See? Yes. That was a good call. Uh, all eligible walkers within eight of the chosen walker also move converging Holy on the chosen walker. Of Lord. That'll be only that one, but it will move towards the walker. Yeah, it will be only that one. It will move towards the walker. Yep. That was card number one. But now this one has the kill zone. Oh, <laughs> we're butt fucked, dude. No, no, no. All for each prone walker. Nah, nothing. No prone. Uh, if there are no prone walkers, add one to the threat level. No, we're at seven. We're oh, losing fast, we're man. All right. And I'm bitten. Hey, we're, I'm bitten. Yep. Yeah. We're gonna fight. We we've, have to fight. We forgot to do the uh, end phase. The yeah, end you phase. have to. You have to roll the dice for the previous turn. Yeah. If I don't get this. It's another wound. It's another wound. Hey! Ooh. And back to the fight phase. Yes. So I'm gonna have actually have to fight. Split combat. I'm gonna punch that one. Yeah. Uh, this this it's automatically split when it's like this. Yep. So you will fight this. I will fight that. Okay. Do my roll first. Why don't you roll for the zombie? No. Do not roll a crit. Hey, I roll a blank. Good boy. Hey, you win. It's pushed back. But it can't get. Well, none of you can get pushed anywhere. Anyway, so we'll just Actually, lay it that prone. is that is back because there's room there. Yeah, it is laid prone. Yep. And we will check in the end phase if it gets up. Your turn. My turn. I will choose to attack. I can choose to attack or defend. Okay. Uh, if I defend, I cannot cause damage to the zombie. I probably shouldn't be rolling the dice, but you shouldn't. <laughs> One. One. Okay, so I attack with my white, which has a better percentage chance of one. Okay, so that's a draw. Yep. But since survivors always beat walkers, it is pushed back one inch. So that would be. Let's move you just slightly there. Yeah, and... but it can't be. Mo it should be moved towards you. So it's really me who's being pushed. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. So end phase, and he gets knocked back one. He, he gets, gets knocked mo down. Uh, end phase. You have to check if you get a wound. Again? Oh, and you have to increase uh, because of combat. Yeah, we are. We were in combat. We actually so were in combat. That's up to eight. Oh, this is going nowhere fast. Oh no! You did get a wound. I get a wound. Let's see if the walkers get back up. Why don't you roll for the lady? Okay, the lady is laying down there. Does get up. And him. Does also get up. Doesn't. This is not good. No. Thankfully, they've left us one inch gaps that we can move through. Mm -hmm. um, that was turn five, I assume. Yeah. We're moving on to turn six. Yes. Why don't you go first? I will go down from this crate with my first action. And the second action, I will search the crate. Search. I can draw a supply card. Can you see that? Yes. And. What is that? Bandages. The way you're losing wounds, probably. No. Oh, it won't heal my bite, but discard this card as an action to restore one health point lost. Oh, that's good. I will put that on my item. It's an item. I will sneak and get on top of this. Mm -hmm. And do we then get clear? We get clear of something. Yeah, we are clear. But we do get this guy. We do get this guy. So he will shell. Well, first, Morning. it's... Oh, event. No, <laughs> first, first it's a kill zone. Kill zone? Which we, we have a guy. This guy, so, so he, he will move, move towards you. Yep. Then there's yeah. an event. Please not zombies, please not zombies, please not zombies. Low threat. We're at low threat. But uh, white dice walkers enter play and are moved towards the nearest survivor. One. Uh, two white dice. Two? So three walkers! Three in total from the board edges, not that one because we entered here. Holy lord. This is going to smithereens. Dude, we can just grab one that we have here. So I'll take that one and move that six. Um, shamble. Oops. This is by Thomas Greenwood. There we go. That's one. Yep. Here? 
Actually, well, let's roll for it. One, two, three, crit. Another one. Yeah, so it will move here. Yeah, last one. Also here. So now we have moved three. Yep. That's a battle line. Holy lord. Okay. Um, that was the event. Now we move. Oh, and plus two threat. No, but then we're at medium. Yep. And then it's black dice entering. No, no because that was. No, that, that, the, the threat happens first. Oh. Uh, so plus two threat. Right. We're at ten. What black dice? There's no black dice. Yeah, these, these, no, the blue ones, I mean. The blue ones, all right. Let's, uh, we have three. Yeah, and it's still, three. still three. Still three. Okay. Holy lord. Now it's combat. I'm gonna fight him. We need to get rid of him. Um, you can't do nothing. I can No, I can't. So I'm gonna fight him with my dice. Hey. I will automatically win. Yeah, because he can't beat But you. But if you get the same result, you don't die. He's dead. He's dead. You roll an exclamation mark. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and now it's end new step. end phase. You have to roll a new dice. Where I have to roll a new die. Whew. And I make the badge so I don't lose a wound. And next turn remind me to use my bandages. Will do. We'll be right back. We need to plan. Now we need to plan. So. Sure. Threat level increasing, we have to get away from these guys, but still keep out of range and we have to get this we thing. We have to get this thing, this is the objective. So, uh, I was gonna sneak. Sneak four. Four here, that should keep me. Away from some threat levels, yes, where that you, should be good. Where are you going? <coughs> no, just put me... Same put, way -ish. Yeah, put me next to you there. Oh, and I wanna use an action to <laughs> bandage my ass. Yeah, so... So discard. Discard and you heal one. Yep, but I'm still bitten, so I have to check at the end of uh, or the end phase. Up to three, dude. Yeah, I moved it back. Oh, you count down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, check stuff. No. Um, event. Yes. Come on, man. Not alarm. Alarm. Remain no, that's not good. Oh, what? Remains in play. Remains um, in play. All threat levels. Choose a car, if possible. It must be one that has no survivors within six. Okay. The car alarm goes off, creating mayhem instantly. The car will cause mayhem again at the start of at the start of every movement phase until a survivor moves into contact with must, it. Must be that and uses one. a search action. Must be that one. Okay, so that causes mayhem. The green one causes mayhem, and that means that these two will move towards it. All of them. Uh, mayhem. It's uh, what does the mayhem rule say? Yeah, it's every, 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 every right. within ten inches. Uh, we're gonna have to check shortest ray route. No, but uh, they can't move over obstacles, so it has to oh. be this way. Yeah, because they can walk through there. There's a gap. They move six. Yep. So that's one and a half. Yeah, they get roughly here, and that one just follows. Okay. What about these guys? Are they outside of ten? Uh, we got yeah, yeah, barely. So they will stay. Okay. Uh, <coughs> that actually was really helpful. That was nice. Alarm is never good, but since the car is over there, it was actually nice. I was worried that uh, yeah, it's just gonna <sighs> dry everyone in. These guys are good. Okay, so that was the event. No increasing of the threat level. Uh, nope, nothing. Okay. Remains in play. End phase. Um, I have to roll. You have to roll to see if you get a wound. No walkers are prone. No, I take a wound! I just got it back! Can I reuse the bandage? No. And we move on to... 7th or 8th or yeah. something? Why don't we just do that? Okay, now let's go and pick up some goodies. Uh, and the alarm is still going. Yeah, the so alarm will go until we turn it off and we won't. No, so huh? they will continue moving up there. I'm gonna move here with my first action. Yep. And I'm gonna pick it up. Yep. So that's... Put it on your card. That's our information. That is the treasure map or... Searched. Yeah. Yeah. What do you do? No, I will just move down there. Four. Yep. And check these. I can actually see a way out of this now, man. Maybe, maybe. We can actually make Depends it. Depends on the events. We don't like the events. Are we ready? Uh, so we have moved, we have done our stuff. Um, oh, uh, kill zones. Some, these guys move towards this in this phase because it still makes noise. 
kill zones, no kill zones. I okay. really want the crates. Uh, we will... I ha I'm dying, dude. Uh, what, where are we? What level? Uh, we're at high medium threat. Alright, so two quiet is the card we get. Uh, adds one threat. No! And we are at medium. Uh, and they start to groan louder and everything gets louder. Obviously there's an alarm. So we add two more. No! That's it. You are aware that we lose the game if we get to 18, which is just here. Dude, I have a question. Mm -hmm. What does this mean? Mark, uh, you have oh. played this more than me. Because some In the cards, corner? Yeah. Yeah, it means it's solo play. Ah, okay. So this is considered a solo game since we're not playing right. against each other. Um, yeah, so actually... We are, we are, we're still at medium. Actually, we need to say this. When you play a solo game, you should actually increase the threat level by one every turn, regardless of what happens. Yes, we have 18 turns to complete. Yeah, but in all fairness, in this this is a custom-made scenario and we have a lot more zombies Going than on. what would be in Normal. such a scenario. Yeah. yeah. It's trial and error. Yeah. We almost failed here. <laughs> we have I, to get I, you off I, the board. I can, I can die in two rounds. Uh, we but that are... was the end phase. We're back to round. No, that that was move. That was, yeah, that was the event. We are not combat. You have to roll again now. Again? Yep. Now? Yep. Holy lord! No! God damn! Okay, so you have one wound left. I can't. I. You might turn into something. Good thing I have the thing. I might be a new character. You might be. Let's. Uh... Uh, new turn. Turn it. We need to plan this. I need to film so you can see his uh, really cool shirt. Now, it's, I'm it's, not a, I really don't, I'm not a fan of zombies and stuff, but no, I like this t-shirt. Oh, and I have two more. One with a T-Rex and one with uh, Are we Grim Reaper. Are we planning on playing T-Rex? <laughs> uh, I was going to say, what the hell? What's the name of the film? Jurassic Park? Jurassic Park. No, we're not going to Okay, what are we doing? Uh, Turn eight. Yeah, I, I, since I'm the badass fighter, Thingy Bob, yeah. I will sneak down to this baby. Mm -hmm. That will put me in combat and I will leave space for you. Dude, I can I make a counter suggestion? Yes. Put me there because if he comes at us, I can get away from him. You can't take another hit. No, but he will stop in the. In oh, the yeah. Bush. Yeah, we'll, yeah, if he gets he, drawn in. He will stop in the bush. Okay. At least we will say that he has to stop in the bush. <laughs> uh, right, so I will make room for you. Yep. So in. that you can move in, and that means we will add our dice, S's. S's. Uh, uh, check threat level, done. Uh, or actually done. Kill zone. Kill zone, so we're in the kill zone. Closest one. So nobody and else gets drawn in. No. Um, then it's the event. Event. We are at, well, plus one threat. No, now we're at high threat. Mm. Now we have to start taking tests. Uh, roll a dice, a blue dice. Find a blue dice. Here you go. Add that many, or that many eligible walkers move towards the nearest survivor. No! You better roll like one because then this guy would, or girl will move. Oh. Ah. This is the closest, right? Yeah, in inches is the closest. It has to move around though. Or should we try, should it move and see if it falls? If it, does it have movement enough to get to like here and down here? Yes, it can move six. Sure, we're screwing ourselves, but... Okay, it moves here. And then and it jumps off. Then it goes down. Dude, zombies don't jump or do that. They don't? I don't think so. I haven't seen The Walking Dead, but every zombie thing I've ever seen, they don't jump off stuff and they don't walk off stuff. They're brain dead, but they... I mean, I've never seen that happen. Okay, What's roll, the logical roll, thing? Roll, roll a dice. On, if, if it's uh, a on a shield, shield it, it chooses to go around. And on the black, it chooses goes to jump. Down. It chooses to jump. It okay. To jump. Now we check to kill it or not, if it dies on the impact. It needs Just a. Just roll the shield thing. Same, okay. same, same, same Shield, thing. it survives. Black, it dies. It dies because it crushes its head on a stick something. or something. It's it dead. dies! <laughs> Coolio! <laughs> Stop making suggestions like that. I have, I was to, change, say, just go I have around. to change this die because I need to survive this round. We're gonna fight. Yes. I have a you have a red, red one. I have a white. All right. So let's roll our first. I'm gonna roll. Oh yeah. 
So one me. One and then the zombie. Nothing. Zombie's dead. Zombie is pushed back and laid prone. They didn't score an exclamation mark. Oh yeah. Yep. But 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 what? But but no, uh, we're now like eight inches away from the abortage, so if we can just oh, survive one more round. Oh yeah, yeah, one more round. Uh, <laughs> we're still at the end step, and you have to roll a dice. Yeah. Otherwise, I'm running off the table. Yes, but you have the treasures. So that's fine. Uh, okay, so threat level was done. Did we increase because we're in melee? So we're at fifteen now. Next turn, before we run off, we have to take a. Um, Test to see if we actually get to do what we want to do. <laughs> because we're at high. Yeah, because we our nerve is medium. Oh yeah. And we're we're at high threat level. Then we have to check. So anyway, uh, let's see if he gets up first. Uh, first you check. Yeah, because that's end step before that's you check end, stuff. Yeah. Okay. See if he gets up. He does. No. Which is not good, but he's well, now... Well, he's still not in combat. No, no, he's one inch away. What's important is that you survive. Now, I have to make this roll or I die. I make it! Woohoo! Uh, we move on to turn nine. I yes. see a simple solution. If we make the freaking test... Yeah, we, we need to pause and check uh, yeah. panic. And we need to make a plan if we... Well, if we panic, I don't know if there's, able, if there's a chance for a plan. We'll be right back. Fucking hell! Don't say that on camera. What's Did wrong I with say you? that? Yes. So, round 10 or something. Yep. Threat level is high. We have to take a panic check with these dice to see if we can actually do what we want to do and get off. Because mm. we can make it this turn. But we have to get something that lets us move. Yeah. So, you will see that when we One, roll. Two, two three. three. Exclamation mark is good. Are you only sure? we can yes, terrified. We are terrified. You are terrified. Okay. I'm terrified. We can only perform one action. Run. This turn. It will be a is run. Is it enough to get off? Yes, because it's eight for me. Oh wait, can you yeah you can No you can't run through the tree. I'm not running through the tree. You have to run. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So here and then the last inch out. And how many for me? You can pass you can pass him. I have to move one inch up. Yeah, let's to pass let's him. do that. One inch. Yeah, then I'm where you were at. Here. I can't see anything. Oh dude, you will Yeah you, you, now we have we have this many inches left. Yeah, so that's enough. Yeah. We will allow it. Sweet! Woo! Scenario victory. Scenario victory, but what will have happen with my bite? Will I be healed? I assume we Get off and uh, we bandage you up with something. Anti zombie bite. Or we just replace him with a new character. No. He, 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 he keeps going. Will he have the bite? No, no, no. He, we, we get off. The, this is DD, dude. Dungeon Dragons. You get off, full nice rest. You're fully healed. It's only four wounds. I rest eight you, hours. That's your constitution only. modifier. Okay, that's good. Okay, so Patrick and uh, Sandra Sarah, will be with us. They're still survivors and they will be healed up because next mission will probably be just as difficult or harder. Well, now we have found a map that leading to a cache of something. supplies or weapons or whatever, something we really want. We want to, maybe we want to pick uh, from the weapon equipment cards and put uh, a deck of that. Yeah, we can do that. So that we can have some cool stuff to choose from. Uh, because these three scenarios, they were designed by yours truly, or his truly, uh, and they're going to be leading up to the ending three scenarios, which is designed by yours truly. Him truly. And we're going to need guns. We're going to need guns. Or at least something that punches harder. Yeah. So next scenario, we will see our heroes uh, coming into a place where there's a building or something. Maybe we want to use the... Whatever's at the... Continuation maybe, of that yeah, road. Maybe we want to use the uh, the city, this the one that moves into the city. Yeah, yeah. The the uh, we can use the. Uh, this will be very good commercial for Pedion, and we're rambling. With the the uh, zombies should be rambling. The people will see this <laughs> later. Uh, what happens? The shopping mall. If you uh, liked it, give us a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, let us know why. And if you want a special type of character hero in it, that's actually in the books or in. The series, and we have him. We can pick that up in the shopping mall. Let us know. We can find another character there. This was fine. Damon, Tabletop Battle. Signing Subscribe. Off. Yeah, that too. Patreon.com forward slash Tabletop Battle. To support us. You know. The usual stuff.